Hello, grade nine science class. Welcome back to the final lecture for the chemistry unit, lesson 13, titled Counting Atoms. So we are going to look at compounds and we are going to figure out what atoms they contain, how many of each, and eventually, as you move on in chemistry, that will be used to figure out how those are put together and why they're put together that way. Uh, so this is a really good start for um, something that's very important as we move along, counting atoms. So first is a chemical formula, and you'll notice that is key point number one, chemical formula. So the chemical formula is a combination of chemical symbols, so the symbols come from the periodic table, that indicate what elements make up a chemical compound and the number of atoms of each element that are present. When you see a chemical formula, there are letters and numbers present. So it's going to be something like NaCl or AlO3, Al3O, uh, something like that. It's going to have letters and numbers, and I'll show you a more specific example soon. Uh, the letters represent the elements, so Al is aluminum and O is oxygen. And the numbers represent the number of atoms in the element of, of that particular element. So if there's a three behind the aluminum, there's three of them. If there's two behind the aluminum, then there's two of them. And then there gets to be a few different uh, rules that we need to use to find out um, the number in a larger compound. So this is an example of a chemical formula, H2O. That's actually just water. The letter H stands for hydrogen. That's number one on the periodic table. The letter O stands for oxygen, that's number 16 on the periodic table. And, uh, sorry, that's number eight, not 16, eight on the periodic table. And the two tells you that there's two hydrogens. The fact that there's nothing behind the oxygen uh, means that there is an understood one. So um, there is two hydrogens and one oxygen represented in this chemical formula. This two is what we call a subscript. So because the subscript is two, it applies to the, behind the H, it applies to the hydrogen only. So the rules for counting atoms, we have the symbols, which we're very familiar with. NH4, SO4 contains nitrogen, AN, hydrogen, H, sulfur, O, and oxygen, which I seem to have missed here. This one, oh, I know, let's just move to the other side. I must have made a mistake. This one contains lithium and chlorine, so we, ha we know what those symbols are and what they mean. Um, each capital letter represents a new element, um, so when there's lowercase, that means that it goes with the previous one, so Li is lithium and Cl is chlorine. The subscript is number two, key point two, a number that is after an element symbol uh, and below. So it, um, we have the NH3 here, it is after the symbol and below. Subscript means below. Uh, the subscript affects only the element that it is beside. So with this one, there is one N because it is understood, and there are three H's. The three only affects the H. So subscripts only affect the element that they are directly behind. We can sometimes have brackets, as in this example right here. Um, when we have brackets, we'll also have a subscript outside the brackets. So when it's like that, uh, it affects all the elements that are inside the brackets, which means we need to multiply. So we have aluminum outside the bracket here, so there's just one of them, that's understood. But we have S inside the brackets and a three outside. So there's one S usually, but multiplied by three, we would have three uh, sulfurs. And then four oxygens multiplied by three, there's 12 oxygen atoms and we have just the one aluminum. And it stays that way because it, is, because it is not in the brackets. The subscript applies to everything in the brackets, therefore we multiply. We also have coefficients. So coefficients are large numbers right here that go at the front. So a coefficient is a full size number in front of the chemical formula and it multiplies all elements in the formula by that number. So because there is a two in front here, uh, we are going to multiply aluminum by two. So there's two aluminum atoms. We had three sulfurs before, so now there's six. 
and we had 12 oxygen atoms before four times three, but now we multiply it by two for the coefficient. So there's 24 and they go in that order. Subscript, brackets, coefficient, and we look at the total number. Let's do some examples, do some examples. We have this one given, uh, CuSO4, so that's copper sulfate. Um, let's do it. We have CuSO4. So the elements that are present would be, uh, we can just write the symbols. Let's just write Cu, S, and O. And then we can count the number of atoms um, in here. So we have nothing behind here, so it's just one for the copper. We have sulfur, so there's just nothing behind it, so it's again just one. And here we have a subscript of four, so there are four oxygen atoms. The total number of oxygen atoms added all, or the total number of atoms would be six if we added them all together. So that one was a fairly simple one. Let's try this one. We have lithium with a two. Carbon, oxygen three, okay. So we have Li as our first one and we move along. Now we have a carbon and after that we have oxygen. We have a two behind the lithium, so that's two here. We have nothing behind the carbon, so that's one. We have nothing, we have three behind the oxygen, so that's three. There is no brackets, there is no coefficients, so we can add those up for a total of six again. Okay. If you have any questions about these, please let me know, but um, we'll have lots of practice as we go through. We have a little bit more, more complicated one here. We have Al2 bracket SO4 three. So let's write out our uh, different elements that we have. We have aluminum, and then within here we have two elements. They're both uh, large or uppercase numbers, so that's sulfur and oxygen. We're going to write aluminum is out here by itself outside the bracket, so we can kind of treat it on its own. There are two aluminums, and then there would be one sulfur, but we have the three on the bracket, so we multiply that by three, so that's three total. And then four times three is 12. And we have a total of 12 plus five is 17 atoms. That would be our total number. Our next one, we have four Na2CO3. So we'll write out our um, elements. We have sodium carbon and oxygen. Starting with sodium, there's two behind the sodium, so that'd be two. And then there's no brackets, but there is a coefficient. So two times four equals eight. We then have carbon, so there would be one, but multiplied by four, it's four total. And we would have three oxygens, but multiply that by four for 12. So our total of 12 plus eight is 20, plus four is 24, that is our total there so it's all step by step we look at one we look at its subscript we look if it's within the brackets and then we look if there is a coefficient out front to find the total number of atoms uh, for each element and then we add them up we got a few more maybe two more I'm not really sure we have 3 mg and o3 2 so we have three elements here. We have magnesium, Mg, we have nitrogen, N, and we have oxygen, which is an O. If at any time you wanna pause these and move ahead and try a few, definitely recommend it. And then you can pause or unpause and see if you've done them right. So we have magnesium, there's one, except we multiply it by the coefficient for a total of three. We have one, N multiplied by two for the bracket, and then that's multiplied, so that's two total multiplied by three for the coefficient, so that's six nitrogens, 
Then we have three oxygens multiplied by two is six, multiplied by three is 18 for a total of 24, 27 atoms. So 18 oxygen, six nitrogen, and three magnesium. If you guys have any questions about any of those, please let me know. Um, but uh, overall, they're fairly straightforward. Uh, if you follow the steps, you write out the elements, you um, go with their subscripts, the brackets, and then the coefficients. There's lots of practice for you to do. If you guys have any questions before you get to the test, uh, please let me know. Um, but after that, I'd like you to hand in your booklet uh, and do the test. And then you can be on to the final unit, I hope, of the course. So thanks very much for watching, everyone. I appreciate it, and I will see you in class. Thanks very much.